Hello, beautiful, precious brethren. Today I am back from my walk with my dog, and oh my goodness, the birds were chirping and looking at me on the bushes and not flying away today. It was so beautiful. And first I'm going to share with you what happened yesterday after I left y'all. I went to uh, the big university and there's an area where there's a coffee shop and tables and then a gym where people come in and out of the gym a big massive gym and there was so many people there and I started blowing the trumpet and giving um, the urgency of getting born again and you know because you know the lake of fire is sudden it comes to people who don't expect it suddenly um, that they need to repent and get and come into heaven um, and believe with godly um, repentance that's godly repentance to believe on the in the gospel and the blood atonement for their sins and baptized into the spirit because without the baptism of the spirit the holy spirit no one can see heaven or even enter so i let them know <clears throat> and as i was speaking very loudly with the trumpet and it was coming right from my belly i could feel the belly from the belly hallelujah all praise honor and glory to our our heavenly father in the name of jesus because he's the one that gives me the grace to do this and mercy to do this and to pray for these people who are lost that they might be found because we all were lost once and we were found by god his grace and mercy came to us also and as i was speaking praise god these two i felt this little tap on my hip <coughs> and i look over right standing right next to me these two little girls <laughs> they were so precious and she looks at me they're both looking at me all smiling and very very happy to tell me we are christians too it was so cute and it just warmed my heart and i could see their dad was kind of in the distance just watching and he couldn't hear what we were talking about but we just talked about the lord and how much they love jesus and then we sang jesus loves me to the crowd and it was a very special time you know the little children have um, ministered with me many times um, in the farmers market like out in the grass area when there's people everywhere picnicking and um, uh, buying all the merchant stuff you know the farmers stuff um, and the university students love this what they do they, they have a huge uh, farmers market where I live and um, one time I was speaking revelation and it sounded harsh, but it wasn't. It was the trumpet speaking the truth that by the spirit of truth. And all of a sudden, all these children start surrounding me and looking up at me. And the Holy Spirit's like, you know, I gave them a gospel that had me give them gospels. But I think the Holy Spirit touched them because then they wanted to hand out the gospels for me. I don't go and hand the Gospels out to each person that's sitting and picnicking. I usually just speak and as, the, as the, the Spirit gives me utterance. And this time, these children started taking the Gospel tracts that I have, stacks of them, and they were running all over the whole thing, handing the Gospel tracts to the people sitting down in little picnicking. And people were being touched by these little children. And they kept coming back, oh, I need more, I need more. And as I was speaking, I, I'm handing these children these, these gospel tracts. So God had used little ones to minister to the people. And sometimes, you know, uh, you know, we have bitter things that happen to us because of the, you know, pe Jesus said they're going to hate you because they hated me first. And then there's sweet times like honey. There's times when the spirit is moving and it touches other people so much, like children even. Sometimes people, I, I have, you know, I mean, not people, they're little people, but bigger people. You know, sometimes uh, men and women come and they start helping me and, you know, it, it depends. But then there's times that it's just, it seems to be strife and contention. And so and when it's like that, you know, I feel like I need to leave because it can cause more harm than good. Um, but yesterday was one of those days. I felt the Holy Spirit go into some people uh, from me because he's with me and in me. And so he gave the spirit. He added to the church daily as Acts 2 says. So praise him for those new um, believers um, with godly repentance, godly sorrow. Um, and and rejoicing in the salvation, the free gift that God gives. 
knowing that we all need um, mercy and grace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And with that, I just want to say, when I first started, you know, I knew, I was telling my sister in Christ, Angela, that um, uh, when I first started, uh, God, I woke up one morning and God said, go. And I knew, I had a knowing what he wanted me to go and do. I just went out and started open air preaching. But it's not really preaching. It's giving the gospel, I guess you could say, reading the word of God, um, contending for the faith, and calling people out of darkness into his marvelous light, ministering to the saints and whatever else he has me doing. Um, and uh, at, there's been times when the glory of Christ had shined on me so much and the holy angels that are with us because, beloved, we have an innumerable company of angels with us, an innumerable I've had people say they could see these two angels, these big, huge angels behind me, bright and shining garments, and that Christ is his light shining over my head. And, you know, I've had people lay down at my feet, and, you know, I'm like, praise God. He's doing exactly what he said in Revelation. He said that he would bring them before us, and they will lay before our feet and look up at us and say, I am Jew. That man said, I am a Jew. I gave him Isaiah 53. Anyways, but my faith walk with Jesus started a long time ago. My faith walk, I'm in my 50s, I'm a grandma, and my faith walk with Jesus started in the 70s. And when I got born again, singing Jesus Loves Me. And those, like a little girl, like those two girls. And that them coming yesterday brought me to a place of saying, you must be like a little child to enter into the kingdom of God. And that's what God was showing me and to remember where I began as a believer, that it was a innocence, a young child. Um, and then as I grew to know him, that he remained with me the whole time I was in darkness and sin and wickedness. But knowing that in my new creation, there's no sin. Okay, that old man is not who we are when we're born again. That's not who we are. I was backsliding and many times, and he was with me the whole time. But God's children are not sinners, beloved. And so there came a time when I uh, did a repentance, and the I saw um, the this rushing mighty wind came in, fell on me, the Holy Ghost. You know, I don't believe that they were all giving the Holy Ghost. They were giving the Spirit, baptized in the name of Jesus, but the power of the Holy Ghost was not in the churches that I was going to because they were not warning me of backsliding and things like that. We need to, to be the light in the world and remind our brethren who we are and where we come from so that we don't get haughty or puffed up or anything like that. Just because God gives us understanding, revelation, knowledge doesn't mean that I'm any different than a little child who believes in Jesus Christ. Uh, he gives us grace and mercy. He gives us different, um, you know, gifts, heavenly gifts and callings. Uh, but, you know, we're all saved by the same gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, the first few verses there. And so with that, as I walked my life, I still talk, talked about Jesus. And every day I walked with him, talking to him as if he's just standing right there and read his Bible every day um, and fellowship with my brethren at we had a house kind of church with a garden we gardened together we um, we did the Bible we even washed each other's feet one time and my uh, grandpa said he saw love all around us um, because the Lord was present with us because we were all you know there in the name of Jesus and so um, I would tell people about Jesus, and I was mocked and scoffed many times. Many people laughed at me at, at parties or, you know, where, like gatherings, like barbecues, and that's, that's the kind of parties I'm talking about. Um, and, you know, different times, you know, I, I suffered persecution because of my faith. But remember, uh, Jesus suffered persecution. He said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. And there are people who love us. There are beloved brethren there are people who love us even who are not brethren, but they see the light. They, or they just have, you know, pity on us because we suffer so much at the hands and, and mouth of, of wicked people. Um, but Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. If they knew what we were bringing to them, if they, if those that reject the love of God, 
through Christ Jesus. If they understood, they would not be mocking and scoffing. Many people do it not knowing what we're bringing to them. The devil and his evil angels have done a good PR work to get people to subtly worship Satan. They're subtly worship. They've subtly brought that worship in uh, and that wickedness and just corrupted this generation. But God also is here and God is moving his people with power and love and he's giving light to the world. Uh, we were trampled down. I mean, I know I felt it. I felt the trampling down of the holy city. Uh, God says that we are uh, living stones of that city. Uh, that city cannot be destroyed, though. Um, we've been trampled down and trodden underfoot, but we remain, and that light is shining in darkness. Um, and these two little girls and I, we fellowshiped, and, and it was beautiful. Their dad waited patiently, wasn't rushing them. And it was, it was beautiful. Let me just tell you that. And so I, my, I guess what God had planned for me started a long time ago when I was a little girl. Um, and the enemy hated my light. You know, they hated my light from my, from being seated in my mom's womb. <laughs> he knew me in my mother's womb and the enemy saw the light and they did not like that light. It's Christ in me, the hope of glory, all glory to him. It is his light that in his light that we will see light. It is his countenance that gives us peace. When he removes his countenance, we are troubled, the scriptures say. And it is true. But we have to remain in faith even whenever his countenance is not shining on us, knowing that we are saved and in him seated in heavenly places. And our high, the, the calling out of darkness is, is for us. Hallelujah. So with that, he brought my husband and I today to talk about... Um, how much we love each other and our family and you all we love you all and all of our customers our town our neighbors we love our country we love our people i love my tribes um, it's the it's the deeds of the wicked we hate we don't hate the person we just hate the deeds of the wicked because god hates them okay he says he will destroy the tongue of the egyptian sea in the scriptures so today um was all about first corinthians it was pretty beautiful but I'm going to read to you a couple. I don't know how much time I have on here. Oh, I have a few minutes. Okay, good. So we'll start with um, 1 Corinthians uh, 10. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all of our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Now we are in the cloud. We are a cloud of witnesses. We're on and in the cloud. I had a, a flash vision of walking on a cloud. The Old Testament, they didn't have that where we were, they were lifted up by the Holy Spirit above, you know, although there were times that, that, that there were saints that did that, the testimony of the Old Testament saints, but only whenever the blood atonement came, were we able to do what we do in our time with the power of the Holy Ghost. They were able to do many wonderful things. Also, the prophets were brethren with the holy angels, Moses and all of them, but this is not under the law. This is the law fulfilled in us, which is a totally different thing. But they received that, that, that promise that they saw far off. We have received it, having it been behind us, but we're a part of that. And we're all baptized unto Moses in the, in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and ye and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 
Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to wise men. Judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold, Israel, after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What say I then? That the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which are the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. That's the good Samaritan, beloved. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no question for conscience' sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast and you be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you eat, asking no question for conscience' sake. But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience' sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged by another man's conscience? For if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of? For that which I give thanks. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. The purpose is, is for them to be saved. We who already have salvation, we walk in the light of Christ. We are free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And whom the Son has set free is free indeed. In the scriptures, it talks about the free spirit. And since we're joined to that spirit, Christ, um, it's better. We're not just with Christ, but he is in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. And we are complete in him. So we warn others of the trouble coming. And God has given us all spiritual, heavenly spiritual gifts who believe. And it says in, in, ver- in chapter 11, Be followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I, ordinances as I delivered them to you. That I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Now, we being the woman, the body of Christ, he loves his body as his own. He is our head, and Father of lights, Father of spirits, is his head. And we are all one in the Spirit. So I hope this blesses you and that you all love one another. And But yes, the word of God is true and we need 